So, um, about lists of safe countries, this is, um, this is indeed a, a procedural device that is available in the context of uh, the Asylum Procedures Directive, which is currently in force, as well as uh, there have been proposals on the development of uh, on, on safe uh, country lists in the Asylum Procedures Regulation that was made um, by the previous Commission. And it is indeed something that will, um, uh, that it will be considered by the Commission as part of the new Pact on Migration and Asylum. However, as, uh, as you are certainly aware, I'm not able to comment at this stage about the contents of, uh, of the new pact. Uh, regarding specifically the issue of Tunisia, um, may, I may perhaps uh, be able to refer to the um, meeting that uh, was convened by Minister Lamorgese uh, on the 13th of July, in which Commissioner Johansson, as well as uh, Commissioner Varhe, participated. And this meeting um, included a number of member states, uh, as well as the ministers of uh, interior of a number of uh, North African partners. And it specifically specifically focused on the issue of anti-smuggling. Uh, Commissioner Johansson was here in the press room uh, on, on that day to uh, describe the outcome of, of this meeting. And it kicked off a, uh, a process through which um, those ministers uh, will, will uh, hopefully be able to cooperate in order to address the issue of smuggling as well as uh, discuss the, the issue of migration management more broadly. Uh, you also asked about possible support uh, to Italy, and I, I think I've had the opportunity to uh, answer a similar question recently. Of course, the Commission is very much aware of the current uh, challenges, particularly on the island of, uh, of Lampedusa, uh, but, but not only. And uh, we are already providing very significant financial and operational support uh, to Italy in, in managing migration. Uh, that includes a support of over 1 billion uh, euros since 2015, as well as almost 300 um, officers from European agencies that are present in Italy. Uh, and as, as ever, we are, um, we are ready to consider any additional uh, requests uh, for, for support from Italy. Um, if, you if you have further more, more detailed questions on that, of course, very happy to, to reply to those as well. Thank you, Adalbert. Do we have other questions for Adalbert on issues related to migration asylum? Follow-up, Patricia? Yes, please. I have a follow-up. Um, I, probably I wasn't clear enough, but my question uh, about the help that the Commission can give to Italy uh, on migration at this point is also on returns. Um, and, and also, so I would like to understand what can be done at this point uh, on the theme of returns, especially on to Tunis. Thank you. Um, thank you, Patricia. Um, I would need to look more specifically, especially with Frontex, uh, as to the, the specific possibilities. As you know, uh, Frontex has uh, support for returns to member states in its mandate. It's a very important priority, uh, especially in the, in the development of the agency's operational capabilities. And um, I am, I'm uh, sure something uh, would, be, uh, would be available, but uh, I would need to check exactly with, with the agency uh, what the possibilities are there. Okay, Carlo, is your question for Adalbert? Carlo, you have the floor. It seems your microphone is not on the right source. Ah, yes, it's okay. Go ahead. Yes, no, no, it's not. The, the, the... So we'll come back to you. Uh, Christian, de nouveau. Uh, question for Adalbert. Italy has not requested any support, as far as I know. Correct? Uh, I don't have specific information uh, about uh, any recent exchanges with Italy. I would have to check up. As you know, the Commission has contacts with Member States on an ongoing basis. Uh, I, I will have to check up, though. Uh, by the way, it's also possible to ask the Italian authorities if they've made a request for support from the European Union, you know. <laughs> 